Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Sunday, June 29th, 2014, and we're honored to have with us today Emma Ruth Rundle. Hi. Take it away. <laughs> Wasting in selfish, sad things So will they de-arrange the shadows of my name Unfazed it I unfazed so much, Emma, for coming out and playing for us today. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can we talk a minute about um, a mentor that you have, whether whether like a musical mentor or just someone in your life that you can bounce ideas off of or who like inspires you? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is that when I was at CalArts, when I was at school for, a, I was only there for a little while, Okay. but I was studying electronic music, yeah. a programming, and there's a teacher there, uh, Miroslav, who's a guitarist. Okay. He's absolutely incredible. Um, he really encouraged me to just keep playing guitar and write down all my ideas, and even though my technical proficiency was not at all on the level of the 
people that were enrolled there for guitar. Okay, okay. So he sort of took me on as a student, um, and I am very grateful for that. Yeah, for real. So what did you... Uh, so you went there for programming or for, like, electronics, but then you were playing just guitar on the side? Like, how did he meet you or know that you were doing guitar work? I, I think I approached him. Um, you know, I was doing, like, some circuit bending stuff and a little bit of soldering. I don't really do any of this anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I went to Miroslav, and we, were, we built some pedals, and um, I think I just asked him for some help. Okay. Um, yeah, it was very unorthodox. He just was, he showed me what an Ebo was. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, use this thing and yeah, it'll like, be awesome. He's like, just make noises that you think are cool and that's that's the most important thing. That's sweet. sweet. So yeah. with building pedals then, I'll bet that like, I don't know, that's really sweet. I didn't know. Do you have a few? Like, do you use any? No. That you have? No. Okay. I mean, they were most, they've all gone in the garbage. Okay. They were, I would never say, like, I actually built pedals yeah, yeah, in yeah. a legit way. You like, attempted to I build them. I attempted pedals. to build them, and they they worked a little, and they sounded terrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but cool experience, nonetheless, yeah. I guess. And you got a solder. I learned how to solder, awesome. so that's cool. You can go into your next step. Okay, set. I shall do that. Oh, I'm going to switch guitars here. Oh, yeah. Do it. While she's switching, I would say that some heavy ocean is out now. You can get it. It's a beautiful record. Listen to it, support her. And she's on tour through the end of August, um, playing a bunch of shows all over the U.S., so check it out. She's playing, is it the 29th? Sub T with Dave Davidson of Maps and Atlases. Uh, so check them out there if you're in the Chicago area, in or around the Chicago area.
band or in uh in in other bands when you're crafting a set list is do you have like a reason for the songs in an order that they go in or you just kind of pick them um well let's see i guess in well i could say specifically for what i'm doing now i try to <clears throat> there's a lot of tuning and changing keys and uh guitars sure so i try to make a set list that's gonna minimize um, or rather I should say extend the amount of time I can stay on a guitar Okay. Uh, so as not to completely lose and bore everyone that's yeah. watching <laughs> um, between the middle times you mean where like like this where yeah, you, know, exactly. you just have to change over your sound or whatever and I'm not a big storyteller so <laughs> yeah do you ever do jokes probably not no but, not yeah. so much I mean do you have a few stories that you like perpetually use to fill space? No, no, I don't tell stories at all. Oh, I just, ever? Okay. No, no, that's why I have this this uh, thing, thing to make noise so I can, can maintain my anonymity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that gives you a that gives you a real mysterious edge too. I guess I have made some jokes. When things go bad, it's hard not to joke about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's see. Yeah, take it away. Oh, girl, come here now, don't you 
Before you go in, or if you're going to change guitars, you can go for it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, I I read an interview where you referenced that you have a mask collection, an Oni mask collection. Oh, Is that yeah. true? Well, a, a little bit of one. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, how did you first get into that? Or yeah, I mean, when you say a collection, like how many or where from? Well, I had more, but I went through this period of time where I decided that I wanted to get rid of all the things I owned. Okay. <laughs> A period of time where you wanted to get rid of all the things that you own. Um, okay. I watch a lot of anime. Sweet. <laughs> so I'm kind of a nerd in that sense. <laughs> and just was very into Japanese culture and yeah. mythology for a while. Sure. Um, so that's the answer. Okay, cool. And then you just started collecting those then. Uh, I did. It was part of... Actually, part of it was... Uh, for some art projects like the cover of the Marriages album yeah. Kitsune yeah. has the some of the masks on there yeah that I've collected on like a fox looking person kind of yeah, thing yeah that's, that's the that's the Kitsune it's the fox okay. spirit okay sure so wait so what uh, are anime that you're really into like what are a few of them um well there's a movie called Tech on Concrete which I think is f a phenomenal piece of art okay um my favorite show is probably that I've watched. It's probably Inuyasha. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense if you're into yeah, with the masks and like the style, the art of yeah, that like one. Yeah, like feudal era Japan cartoons. Is is the bar. That's that's what I'm talking about. Have you seen Roroni Kenshin? Do you watch Roroni Kenshin? No, I haven't seen Okay. That. That's one you might like. The art is like very similar to Inuyasha. It's like nineteen ninety one or something like that. Is too, it that so same kind of a theme you know of no not this not the spirit stuff at all it's um it's just like sort of warriors on a journey story you know but um that sounds good but it's cool though yeah yeah it's really cool you can go into uh, your next set yeah thank you mm -hmm.
like to know what you admire in a uh, like a career musician I've seen you reference Mark Kozilek from Sun Co Moon and Chris Whitley and and people like that um yeah just like what what stands out to you about them and or what do you aspire to be in relation to that I guess what, what does career musician mean I don't I don't know I guess I mean like um like doing music as a as a long term thing versus like being in a band and it ending I suppose um, and then mm. just being done with it uh, mm. yeah that's that's kind of what I'm trying to hash out I guess that idea of like always playing music even if that's not your only job or something like that you know um, yeah I think that's I mean I think that's what most of us are will do I think I'll always play music and I mean people you know Mark Kozlek is a good example I guess because he did have a band and Red House Painters and then went on to do Sun Kill Moon and has released very similar music as Mark Kozilek. And I, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of his guitar playing and yeah. the, the sort of um, dour nature of his music. Yeah. Chris Whitley, I think, is one of the greatest musicians ever. Yeah. He's He did put out a record on um, a major label, but then I think he just kind of went into obscurity and started making these really incredible records in, in, a, in barns and wherever and never yeah. wavered from his sort of his completely honest nature. Sure. Yeah. So cool. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> He's no longer with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But check him out. Yeah. You can go ahead. Okay, this is my last song, Living with the Black Dog. Black 
Audio Tree Live with Emma Ruth Rundle. Thank you so much for Thank playing. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Emperor Cabs. Thanks to Goose Island. Awesome people in the studio and sound engineers making it sound awesome. Camera and lighting crew hooking it up and viewers. Thanks for watching. Support Emma by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect from all of us here at the studio. Thanks for tuning in. And come out tonight. And come out to the show. Goodbye. <laughs>